Hi everyone and welcome back to Presenting From Home. My name is Helen, Senior Designer at Presentation Studio. This week's a quick and easy one. I'm going to show you how to export your presentation as a video. This feature in PowerPoint is really useful for creating something visual for people to watch rather than click through. So for example, a looping presentation that you'd see on a stand at an event, or even if you just want to send your presentation for people to watch without you presenting it and they can also see the animation. I won't be keeping you very long, so take a seat and let's get to it. So you can create a video in PowerPoint either with animation or without. The benefit of animation is that you can introduce your content in a specific sequence or with specific timings or speeds in which you think it should be read, which is of course a little bit more video-like and more engaging for the viewer. So when you're happy with your animation, you can also manipulate your transition time, so the move from one slide to the next. So head to the transitions panel and under advanced slide, here on the top right, select the after tick box. And then you can add a number of seconds that your slide will stay on screen for before it moves on to the next. So if your slide's just finished animating, you probably want to leave a couple of seconds for people to absorb all the information on the slide before moving on. So here I'll just put three seconds. So our advice is sit back and watch your presentation in slideshow mode and just make sure that the timings make sense and are all a good speed for your content to be read. And once you're happy with that, head to file, export, and create video. So first of all, you want to choose your size. So select small file size for emails and easy sharing, or full HD or even 4K if this presentation or video is for an event or a big screen or you've got other high resolution media in your presentation like videos or large images. Since you've already set your animations and transition times, you can select the option use recorded timings and narrations and PowerPoint will time everything as you've set it. You can ignore this seconds for now because what we're doing is using the recorded timings and narrations, so that's not applicable in this case. And you can just select create video. So your video will export, it could take a couple of minutes depending on how large the file size is. So now to create a video without using animation or transition timings, you won't need to adjust any settings in PowerPoint. You can just head to file, export and create video and just use the option don't use recorded timings and narrations and here instead you can simply choose the number of seconds that each slide should hold for and that just means that your video is set to advance through each slide holding for each for an equal amount of time so probably the best case scenario for that is when each con all of your content on each slide is about of equal length and therefore people will have equal amount of time to view and absorb it before the slide moves on so there you go, a great feature that you might not have even realised existed, brought to you by the presentation experts. For more presenting from home tips and information on how we can help you with presentation design, content, strategy and training, check us out at www.presentationstudio.com. As always, we welcome your suggestions on what to teach you next, so please leave a comment or drop us a line via our website. So we really hope to hear from you soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay home, and most importantly, stay connected. Bye.